Mother, I did see people out on the marsh, honestly. That's enough, Sooty. You frightened Mary, Bell. There is no known way across the marshes. What you saw were the lights of the fishing boats. I think you might occupy his mind more profitably than with these stupid stories. Now, Sooty, the Kieran's arriving on the 11 o'clock ferry today. I think you two could help get their rooms ready. How long are they staying, Mummy? Until Professor Kieran's house is repaired. A big tree crashed on their house in that storm on Tuesday night. Sooty, that's enough. Wish I'd been there. Bet it was exciting. The post, Mr. Lenoir. Thank you, Blanc. Now, you two, I think you can go and tidy your rooms, if you please. Dick and Julian don't have to make their own beds on holiday. Well, they will whilst they're here. Now, off you go, both of you. What's the matter, dear? It's that fellow Barley again. He's trying to stop my scheme for draining the marshes. But this will wipe the smile off his face. Professor Kirin favors marsh draining plans. dog. My stepfather hates dogs. Won't have them near the place. Where I go, Timmy goes. We'll have to go back with the car. Don't do that, stupid. We'll think of something, George. Okay. Come on, let's go in round the back way. Yes, I understand it. Darling, it is a question of what is best for the island. It... Hello? Darling? Darling refuses to budge. I think he's taken leave of his senses. This could hold out the marsh draining scheme for months. Mr. Barley's a bit eccentric, but surely you can make him see reason? Father's butler, always snooping on us. Shh, he'll hear you. Stone deaf. Have to go through father's study. Come on. Oh, 
phone. Just used for junk. Smuggler's top. Was it really used by smugglers? So they say. It's a very exciting place. Things could happen here. Just the feeling you get because the place is so old. Nothing ever happens, really. Except I have seen some... Sooty, you know what Father said. <coughs> Give me the dog. Come on, quick. What are you doing? Your parents are waiting to see you all downstairs. Just coming. That was close. Safe now. Rig this buzzer to go off whenever the door at the end of the corridor opens. I don't trust Block. Better hurry. Mother must be wondering what we're up to. What about Timmy? Oh, he'll be all right. We'll get him out of the house for a walk after lunch. How will we get him out? Through my room. There's another secret passage. Oh. Come on. Stepfather hates being kept waiting. OK. <laughs> Leave the table. Sooty and Mary Bell probably want to take them exploring. Got him? Yes. Okay. Slowly. Careful. Keep it steady. He must wear ton. If your stepfather wasn't so silly, he doesn't look like he'd be afraid of anything. Must have a reason for not liking dogs. It's a bit oh. odd. He's an odd sort of man. Look, daylight. I thought we'd never get to the end. Come on, Timmy. So this is where it leads to. Oh, it'd be horrible to get stuck in that. All be safe green fields soon if Stepfather's plan for the marshes goes ahead. Your stepfather was saying somebody on the island is against it all. Oh, Mr. Barling. He wants the marshes left as they are, not made use of. And he is very rich, lives near here. Now he is really peculiar. Might have to call it off. Unexpected visitors. The shipment's on the way. Seen the paper? Kieran will be staying at the house. <laughs> Perfect. Good, Timmy. Eat it all up. He's really hungry. Isn't that block? to introduce me to your friends. Of course. Um, the Kirins. Anne, Julian, Dick, their cousin George, Georgina, Mr. Barling. Ah, yes, Kirin, the famous professor. My father. Yes, what a brilliant man. Pity we're on opposite sides of the 
environmental fence, so to speak. Well, enjoy yourselves on the island, and glad to see you're none the worse for the ordeal. And no barking. Turn the handle right round to close it. We'll have to be extra careful when Uncle Quentin arrives tomorrow. Father will be too busy talking marsh draining with Miss Lenoir to bother about us. Not surprising that Mr. Barling wants the marshes left alone. He looks like he belongs to olden times. Don't you think? It might explain a lot. Wouldn't surprise me if Mr. Barling had another reason for wanting the marshes left as they are. Like what? Something I've got to find out first. But he's got to believe me. I bet it's block up there. If somebody's signalling from the tower, shouldn't we wake your stepfather? He might not believe me. if he goes to Block's room. You seem surprised to see me in my own house, Julian. May I ask what you think you're doing, creeping around at this time of night? I, uh, well, we... Stepfather? I saw those lights again. I really did. And somebody signalling. I think it was Block. We were just... Tutti, I'm sick and tired of these stupid stories. Block is fast asleep in bed. Now see for yourselves. following last night. Then who was it? Complete mystery, but somebody was signalling. And to somebody on the marsh. The only other person we saw was... <coughs> Mr. Lenoir. <coughs> Couldn't be anything to do with Stepfather. As soon as George fetches Timmy, we'll go down to the marsh. We just might find a clue to what was going on out there last night. You're all going out for a walk. Just came to put a book back. Oh. Your father's telephoned. Oh. He's arriving this evening. Putting him in this room because it's got the best view of the marsh. In. Something wrong, Georgina? No, no. Block will move Sooty in with Dick and Julian. Mm. Would you tell them for me, please? Of course.
a good idea of yours, Block, to put Professor Kieran in here. Better lock the door when you've finished. Only have the children running in and out. Certainly, Mrs. Lenoir. Don't worry, but he's been in there all night. And he barks like mad when he wants to go out. Supposing your stepfather hears him. The block won't take long. He's only tidying the room. I can do it from outside. Hey, where's George? I don't know. How you children have been behaving, I'm sure you'll be in complete agreement. Go on. Who is it? You are a fathead. You missed a smashing supper. Managed to save something for you and Timmy, though. My father arrived yet? Ages ago. But he hasn't been up to his room yet. Still locked. Have to wait till everyone's asleep. Get Timmy through the study. Get out of your window and I'll let you in through the front door. Not scared, are you? Of course not. I'm sorry, I had to draw the line somewhere. Your father's coming. Won't hurt George to pull her either. I'm glad you don't feel that I was being too strict with her. No, not at all. Uh, I hope you'll be comfortable, Quentin. Oh, sure, I will. Thank you. Sure. I'd like to have a word with this fellow, Barling. Find out how serious his objections are. Well, that can be arranged. Right. Well, sleep well. well. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night.
locked up all day. What are we going to do? I have to go through my room and hope to goodness your father doesn't wake up. Come on. Mr. Barling, what are you doing here? Sooty? 